Hey everyone, it's Angela with Brick House Designs. I'm here today with a super simple page. It's just going to be really quick and easy. Um, I'm using one pattern paper from this old Animal Crackers stack. And the rest are just going to be solid cardstock. So I'm going to start off with a piece of 12 by 12 black. And on top of that, I'm going to put a piece of 11 and 3 quarters by 11 and 3 quarters white cardstock. I'm just going to center it right in the middle. I just wanted that thin black line around it. And then this is where my pattern paper comes in. I've got this pattern paper from the Animal Cracker stack and I just did a thin piece of this lime green color. I used this corner or this edge punch along it. I left it at 12 inches long. The pattern paper piece is about 2 inches by 12 inches and then I just wanted that little strip of punched edge showing underneath it and then here's my bottom border I just used like a craft 12 inch piece um, I used a grass border punch that I have I did two of those one on the bottom one on the top and then in Cricut Design Space I just got the little railroad tracks it's like that size probably and so I just lined them out and welded them together so it was one continuous track so I didn't have to glue each individual one I'm just gonna put it right up against the edges on the bottom and the two sides and this is the right side, and this is the left side. I already have it done. Like I said, this is going to be super simple, super easy. This whole area on both sides is going to be covered with pictures. So I know I don't show my pictures, but this one you can't really see her face. So my daughter was in a little parade that our town does every year. And it's called the Storybook Cavalcade Parade, where they dress up and they have cute floats. And this one was the little engine. And so, I wanted to do a train. And I couldn't really find a train that had what I liked, so I really just kind of had to put this together on my own. And it was so fun because my little girl, that's five, she wanted to help, so she went and got her little book. And we just decided what animals, what toys, everything we wanted to put on the train. And just sized them to fit inside the train. And it was so fun for her to be a part of that. I'm going to take this glue off right there because I'm going to put my picture underneath it. So this is the caboose. I'm going to put it clear over here to the edge. On this caboose, I put some stickles here, up here. I used a white gel pen to add some accents. I did stitching around it to help it pop. On these monkeys, on the bunny and the giraffe, I used a glaze pen, one of those black glaze pens. It just makes it look kind of shiny. And then I put some glossy accents on the ball and then some stickles inside the ears of the rabbit as well. On this next car, again, I did stickles on the wheels. I did stickles on the top. I put the glaze pen on the bear's eyes, nose, and mouth. Glossy accents on the little blocks. And then a little bit of stickles on the toy soldier.
this is the little coal car and I just use stickles on it. And I have some little pieces of coal. I actually just did a search in Design Space for a rock. And then I used the hide, hide contour fit feature to hide some of the lines that were on the rock. There were just too many pictures to really do much more than some borders. But I think this little train turned out super cute. Go ahead and cut that end off. There we go. Now for this next car, it looks just like this one. I just used different colors. Again, stayed with the stickles. Those things last forever. You might think that I used a whole bottle but I didn't. So again, stickles, and then I did some glossy accents here on this drum, and then um, right here there was a star for her, the top of her wand. But I also, I got these stickers at Joann's the other day, and it was perfect the perfect size to just stick right on there and it added something to it that it was missing before and then to match with the blue little engine that's what I decided to cut my engine as was blue Again, there's stickles and some glossy accents and on this front part there wasn't a yellow piece of paper and so I just used a yellow stickles that I had to kind of make it look more like a light and I put a little bit of glossy accents on the clown's nose and then I cut out this little railroad crossing sign and it actually cut in the words and I wanted them to stand out. So I went over that with my white gel pen and put glossy accents on the lights. I like to get a lot of pictures on my pages so this was fairly quick. I just had to Get it glued together and let the stickles and the glossy accents dry. I'm going to stick this right here. And that's it. That's my completed layout. I'm going to fill this with pictures and pretty simple but cute and fun. Thanks for watching. Bye.